back with a much more serious attitude. He's still confident. But he measures his words a little more. Runs and heard him talking about his improved attitude in the gym. His conditioning is much better. Right, like a lot of 17-year-olds. Not a bad kid, just a bit, I guess the word might be disruptive. I was just thinking back to what I was like when I was 17. I was more than disruptive. <laughs> Ooh, solid right hand by Brown. He really snapped Williams' head back with a shot. Well, what you have in here is two guys who aren't the quickest in the world, who are tremendous punches, but they're very physically strong. Williams landing some solid blows. Good left-right combination. That's in a minute remaining in round one. Another good combination by Jeremy. Brown's best punch is his left hook. The United States leading 9-2. Another U.S. team lost in Ireland 6-5 yesterday. There's that left hook of Brown. Williams coming right back with the left of his own. Both guys are throwing shots now with both hands. Everything they're throwing has sizzle on it. These two didn't waste much time getting her after. We saw a little feeling out process in a couple of the other bouts, but not in this one. We'll be back with more boxing from North Dakota in a moment. Time U.S. Olympic coach Pat Nappy, the guru, the godfather, looking on with Charles Williams and his son's corner in this 178-pound bout. Pat's a terrific guy. Does a great job with these kids. Mr. Amateur Boxing himself. He's seen a lot of the great ones develop in the amateur ranks and move on to successful pro careers. You talk about the difference between U.S. amateur boxing rules and professional rules. He maintains that if you take a pro boxer and a good amateur boxer and, and box amateur rules, the amateur will win. Over a shorter period of time, of course, but that's what's so great. It's, it really is a ballet. It's a ballet with bruises, but it really, there's a lot of skill involved in both of them, of course. But with the amateurs, you're playing tag with the guy, and the idea is to keep him it more than you're it. What I like about the amateur boxing is there's no waste of time. It, it's all action from start to finish. Well, they only have the three rounds to do it. So if you goof off in the first round and the other guy out punches you, you've got to come back strong in the next two to win it. How would you evaluate this bout so far? They both went at each other in the first round. It's anybody's bout. There's still plenty of time to go. And this round so far has slowed down a little bit. They've taken a longer time to look at one another. But everything they've been throwing so far has bad intentions on it. You notice in close, there's nothing that's light. Everything is being drilled in, planted in. Ron Whitmer cautioning both boxers. Oh, William planted a solid left hook and really wobbled Brown. Standing eight count being administered to Dale Brown. That hurt him. Well, when you've got grenades being thrown from both guys, it just takes one. Good uppercut by Williams. He's got Brown in real trouble now. Down he goes. This bout may be over. It is. They have stopped it. They shouldn't have Brown get up. They should sit him right there. Brown is trying to get up. And they should keep him right where he is. No reason to let him get up. Dr. Burl Barth has come out to examine him. Uh, Jeremy Williams showing a lot of power in those punches and putting Brown down for the count. Brown is still wobbly, having trouble sitting down on that stool. He really got hit. Nothing is wrong with letting the boxer sit if he has to in the middle of the floor for a minute or two. Little by little, you get him up, then you sit him on the stool. So that gives the United States a commanding 10-2 victory over the Canadians. Jeremy Williams finishing it off with a bang.
Well, this round started a little bit slower than that first round went because they really went at each other in round number one. And then the two of them, while they were mixing it up, Brown left his chin unguarded and took a hard shot, and he took a standing eight count. And then after the standing eight, he moved right back in. And that was the standing eight. And then his legs are already gone, and he takes a shot on the chin, a right hand, and the left hook high on the cheek. Down he goes on his ear. The referee starts the count and then waves it off. And another look. You're going to see a right hand on the chin. The two that did it, the right hand on the chin right there, the left hand high on the head, and he goes down on his ear. And our sky cam, bingo, left hook sends him down and out. We give you the sky cam. Apparently our thrill cam is not operating tonight, so we'll settle for the sky cam. But Jeremy Williams providing the thrills as he stops Dale Brown, and the U.S. wins the competition 10-2. Now the official announcement of Williams' victory. Ladies and gentlemen, our final bow. The referee stopped the contest due to head blows. Your winner in the blue corner, Jeremy Williams. The two-time U.S. champion, 17-year-old Jeremy Williams, fighting out of Fort Dodge, Iowa, is the victor at 178 pounds. And we'll return to Grand Forks, North Dakota with some final words about this competition in just a moment. You're looking.